Behind me are several bug out bags, several of my personal bug out bags. I'm gonna show you the critical gear that I have and what you ought to have. I know firsthand how important it is to have good gear and how it could save your life in a dangerous situation. How do I know this? My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and I love gear. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Hi, Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. So let's get down to business. Don't forget to like, subscribe, make sure you turn on that ring notification bell. So here are my bug out bags. When it comes to bug out bags, people always ask me like, what's the weight of it? I like to keep it 25 pounds or less. Many of us are familiar with the military phrase, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. So even though I love gear and I'm a gear junkie, you gotta resist the temptation to throw in the kitchen sink. So 25 pounds or less, cause you never know how much walking you're gonna have to do. Here is one of my bug out bags. I'm married, I've got six kids. That means I need a lot of bug out bags. So I've got it in my car, in my home, and these are just some of them stacked here today. I'm gonna pull out some of these items. I'm just randomly pulling them out, however they come out of here. So let's, yeah, let's start here. This is a tomahawk. I love tomahawks. I'm a fan of the tomahawk. You should have one in your bug out bag. The beauty of these is you can use them for chopping, for building shelters, but of course for self-defense to stop an attacker. Many years ago, my family and I were up in Wyoming. We rented a cabin at the top of a mountain. It was the middle of winter. It was freezing. I was driving down this hill, hit a patch of ice, and went sliding into this guardrail and got trapped. Well, got out, the ice, it was so cold, everything because of a sliding, it packed it in, I couldn't dig it out with my hands. I went to the back of my vehicle, pulled out my tomahawk, was able to chop around the ice and free us. Now my relatives used to of course make fun of me for having a tomahawk on bug out bags, but they weren't laughing anymore when I got us out of that kind of ice jam. So have a tomahawk. Next is another weapon. This is a kukri, I love these two. Good blade, same thing, you use it for survival, for self-defense. Last time I used this, I was camping and I was moving around some uh, logs in the fire. You can see some ash on the end here. That's the ash from the fire. Great self-defense tool. I know many people use this for home defense who don't like guns. I like guns, so I use guns. But if you don't like guns, not a bad idea. Uh, let's pull something else out. This is just, uh, this is one of those collapsible backpacks. So the reason I have this is you never know if you wanna have to pack something else out or leave some gear somewhere and take a lighter set of gear. So this just gives you options. Or if my family and I go on hiking on a day hike, I just take this out and use it. And it's not a crisis situation. So I like having these inexpensive foldable backpacks in there. Um, this is called the Survival Blaze. This is one of those rope doohickey things um, that is a fire starter. So it is incredibly flammable and a crisis situation. All you gotta do is, you know, obviously peel off the plastic, but then take some of the rope, start your fire. So these are a must have. I love these doodads. And uh, this is, this is my surf filter. Awesome water filter. I've tried every filter on the planet. This is the best. Of course, gets rid of bacteria, all that stuff. So you gotta have a water filter in your back or your uh, bug out bag, obviously. You gotta be able to take care of your family. You gotta be able to get fresh water. If you're bugging out and come across a lake, a stream, whatever, make sure you have a water filter. This is a tourniquet. Tourniquets are always a good idea, especially ones you can put on one-handed. If there's a gunshot, a stab wound, a car accident, some kind of you know crazy thing where somebody's bleeding a lot, gotta have a tourniquet. Just make sure you don't put it around a person's neck if their neck is bleeding. Yes, that's a joke. No tourniquets around the neck. Anyways, have a tourniquet, have some type of med kit. This is my small med kit here. Just some bandages, things like that in there. I have a tube tent. Now, when it comes to shelter, I have bug out locations. I have shipping container locations. And when it comes to tents, I have a really nice canvas tent, but it weighs about 82 pounds. I think it's the exact weight. That is in my house. That's if I gotta start grabbing stuff and throwing it in my truck. And my bug out bag, just a simple tube tent. You really don't need that much shelter. I've spent many a nights under the stars in crappy conditions without any tents, any sleeping bags, any of that. It's not the most fun night, but you can do it. You know, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but still have a tube tent, at least have something over your head is not bad. Gotta have multiple ways to start a fire. I already showed you that survival blaze. Vic lighters, keep things easy. So I've got a bunch of these lighters in there. I have multiple ways inside my bag of starting a fire, including the Swedish fire still, which was de uh, developed for the Swedish military, but why not make it as simple as possible? And again, a big lighter does that, which is why I've got a bunch of those in there. Paper maps. Remember, in a crisis situation, GPS might not work. You know, you're not gonna be able to get on your phone and learn everything in 30 seconds. So I have paper maps. I live in Utah where I know 
that uh, there's multiple ways to get out, meaning I already know my escape route, so I'm not gonna go hop on I-15 where everybody else is. There's plenty of places for me and my family to get to, but just in case you get off a wrong turn and don't know where you're going, always have a paper map. Survival food, obviously you gotta eat, so I have multiple ways to eat. These are the survival food pouches. I love these, I'm a huge fan of these, just because add water, you're good to go, easy to boil, I have a small camp stove in there, doesn't take up a lot of space. So have some type of survival food. Uh, this is a Frog Togs poncho. I mentioned earlier, you know, you don't have to have, I've spent many nights, you know, you don't have to have a tent sleep and all that, but it does make life better. You know, if you can have a little comfort in a crisis situation and it doesn't take up much space and doesn't weigh much, then do it. Uh, so yeah, this is the Frog Togs emergency poncho. That way you can use it for a shelter or if it's just pouring, I can walk around in this bad boy. Knives, this is... This is the knock knife, very high-end knife built for intelligence operatives. You gotta have a good fixed blade knife if you wanna be able to survive a crisis. Uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. If you wanna see this sucker in action, go to knockknife.com. That's N-O-C knife.com. And this is a very high-end, you know, survive anything type of knife. It's got straps here so I can wear it on my belt, that I can wear it on me, but I always have one in every single bug out bag I own just because you don't want a cheap, you know, flimsy knife that's gonna snap off, it's not full tang. You wanna be able to do anything and everything with this bad boy, which is why I have it. Going down the line, another med kit here. You can see just more bandages, more stuff in there kind of thing. And this is just a small mess kit. So this mess kit, you know, if I can boil water, so it's got the pans, the pots, uh, a little bit of silverware in there, so I can eat when I'm on the run, if I'm on the run, if I have to go on the run. This here is Chlorflock, another water purification method. So basically the way this work, and this is used by the military, basically the way this work is it's little, uh, little pouches where you pour in to your water. So if you've got a canteen, you go to the stream, I'll even show you what they look like. I mean, you're gonna, I'm gonna take it all the way out of this little thing so you can see the little packets. So little packets, and it says exactly on it, the directions, what to do. So depending on how much water you have, you pour the packet on the water or inside the water, you let it sit for 30 minutes, and then you have clean water that is fresh to drink. So my surf filter water straw, always my first go-to, but I have backups since clean water is that critical. And I have the Versa knife. It's a rescue knife, also built based on intelligence operations. So it's got many things you can do. I have multiple knives just because a knife is an incredibly useful tool in a crisis situation. You wanna have that. You know, I've got a multi-tool, one of the many multi-tools I own, because obviously multi-tools are great. You know how to, need to have multi-tools in your bug out bag. So got those suckers in there. I got more survival food. I got matches because you want to have multiple ways to start a fire. You'll want to be able to stay warm. You want to be able to cook food. This is the Swedish fire still that I mentioned that again, another way to start a fire. I have gun oil because I've got guns. So this is uh, some high end gun oil that works. Um, these are the little scalpels just in case anything goes horribly wrong. You know, gotta have that. And this is just a crank flashlight. I'm a flashlight junkie, I have a million flashlights, but it's always good to have an, uh, one that doesn't run on batteries. That's what this sucker is. And here, this is good old dryer lint. Start fires faster, so I always take the dryer lint from when we do laundry and put that in here. I have a bandana, just so I have water on me. These are some of the Daytrix emergency drinking water pouches. And I mean, it's not a ton of water, but it's better than nothing. So you can fit that in there. Just be careful not to put it near your knives, get something opens, ask me how I know, or you'll have a, a flooded bug out bag. And just last few things here. Um, this is just one of those emergency blankets. And then I have duct tape in there, but I also have this, which is just athletic tape. So I've got to run. I'll share more next time in another video, but hopefully you learned a thing or two. Don't forget again to like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Go to knockknife.com if you want to see the knife bill for intelligence operatives. And please, if you don't already have some, please prepare your bug out bags. We live in a very dangerous, crazy, and unpredictable world. And I can tell you firsthand how important it is the right gear and how important it is to make sure you get alive when you have the right gear. So have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you next time.